it. And not just go there in because um, Africans see as Africans, you know, I'm going to go to that question <laughs> again because like, we, we asked that question offset. Yeah. Um, no matter how, as much as you say, people just believe, no, she's somehow from Africa, you know, <laughs> but anyway. But like, a lot of people were like really proud of what you, yeah. what you did. Lovely. Um, what events have you got, uh, like, you know, coming up? Well, I've got um, World Indoors in Doha. So that's going to be nice. It's going to be um, beginning of March. Okay. So it's going to be nice and hot. Yeah. Um, I've been to Doha before and it was really nice there. Oh. And then um, outdoors, I have the European Championships, which I think are in Barcelona. Yeah. And then I also have Commonwealth Games in Delhi. I'm looking in forward India. to the Commonwealth Games as well. Yeah, I don't definitely. Because um, Africans normally participate in that as well. You know? Okay. So it's, it's, yeah, so yeah, it's, yeah, so yeah. Nigeria. Nigeria, and, yeah. you know. So we've. <laughs> lovely. lovely. Looking forward to it. I'll go to another question here. Um, your fans want to know how you get um some of them are actually um young um students okay it's um i'm just summarizing it because i just want to get the best out of you mm -hmm. um so it's like probably 20 people give it plus or minus they want to know how you get rid of nerves okay when you um because a lot of them they just like their potentials according to them but like when yeah. they just get you know face the opponents they just like just jelly out you know, yeah basically. so they just want some advice from you um i think it's kind of like a mental thing like nerves are good but then I guess if you have too much, it can kind of like impede your performance and stuff. So you've got to kind of try and, try and control it. So like if you're breathing, just yeah. like deep breathing, just try and stay relaxed. If you, I guess if you're too nervous, you just get tense up as, as well. So like I said, a little bit of nerves is good. Wow. It helps you to wow. perform. Okay. Like, yeah, I didn't know that. And um, are you a kind of person that, you know, what, what's, what's your take on um, on the boat, man? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> would, you do, so would you go to that extreme or? <laughs> what, dancing on the land? <laughs> I don't think he's so, but he's, he's amazing. Yeah. Like I wasn't there when um, he ran his when he broke the world record in Beijing, but I was watching it on TV. Wow. And he was jumping around. I think I hurt my foot because I was jumping around so much. Wow. And then um, even in Berlin, as well, I was in, in the hotel. Yeah. And like I didn't expect him to like run that fast, but he did, and it's just amazing. Because I know the track in Berlin was slow as well, so. Did, just, did you actually see the, the one in Berlin? Was it you watched it from your hotel? You yeah, I watched both. Yeah, I didn't go to the stadium, so yeah. and the 200 meters as well. Yes. Did you ever think he was going to break any of those records? No, because like I said, like the track track is a slow track, so and Beijing's track was like faster. Yeah, wasn't it? Beijing was super fast. Wow. So um, I just didn't expect it, but he went out and did it. So because we, we were watching, like, we were watching on on TV. I yeah. Think we couldn't come down to. We were supposed to be in Germany. We couldn't come okay. down. Okay. But um, we saw um, a Michael Johnson and his yeah. reaction was, he was speechless basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was, it, was, it was crazy, you know. Yeah. Because maybe the 100 meters, but like everyone thought it was tied for the 200 meters yeah, and yeah. smashed it. Yeah, because like all the rounds that go through for the 100, so I think it's like four rounds and then more rounds of the 200 as well. And to come out and do that, it's just brilliant. So how can, um, I know you don't do the same event, like, you know, but how can guys get close to him? Like, what, what can be done? I don't know. I have no idea, like... <laughs> I think it would be a while before anyone gets close to that again. Yeah. So you have to keep watching the space, I guess. Wow. <laughs> See what happens. Crazy stuff. I'll go to more questions here. Um, there's one that um, we asked Offset, but we just want to cover it again yeah. just to make sure that, you know, people know it. Guys want to know if you're African, and some guys want to know if you're single, but, you know, I'll leave <laughs> that to you. I know that Sarah's not single. You guys, you can't help me, you know. <laughs> The boyfriend is behind the scenes. I don't want him to beat me up, you know. <laughs> <laughs> she is not single. <laughs> but I'll leave it to her, you know. I'll leave it to Sarah to say that. But she is not single. But they just want to know if you're single or not. And they want to know if you've got any links to Africa. Um, no, I have no <laughs> links to Africa, unfortunately. My, I just found out that my great-great-grandmother was from Puerto Rico. And then my mum is from the Virgin Islands. And my dad's from the state. So. Okay. Okay. Caribbean. And, <laughs> <laughs> and then the other question, yeah, I have a boyfriend, we've been together for six years. Wow. So, and he's a um, hurdler as well, 110 hurdler. Tell us a little bit about him because I never knew he was a hurdler. Yeah, um, he does 110 hurdles, he's training the same group. Um, but unfortunately at the moment he's got a problem with his hip, so he might have to have an operation on that. Okay. And then he'll be back next year. Okay. So, keep an eye out for him as wow, well. Okay. His name's Richard Elaine. Richard Elaine. Yeah. And he, he actually uh, ran for Barbados as yeah, well before. Yeah, yeah. Um, he did Carista Games, I think in... Wow. I'm not too sure, 2000 or 2002, yeah. so I think he came third there, so wow. Wow. we'll see if he will run for Barbados or run for okay. UK. Okay, oh, so. well, I, I believe he would probably <laughs> want to run for UK. So guys, I asked a question, sorry guys, you know, it's not my sorry. fault, you know. There you go. Um, I, I want to take you to the, the, that very event where you do your personal best. Tell us about that time. Well, I had like the worst day of my whole life because yeah. what happened, I had, I had, no, I had no money. So what I had to do, the last one that I had, I bought a coach ticket to go up to Loughborough 
And then I thought, oh, maybe if I get the train, I'll get up there quicker. So I tried to take the ticket back to get it refunded. Yeah. And they said to me that I couldn't refund the ticket. So then I got to, back to King's Cross and uh, I was just on the phone with my mum crying, so like, I can't go to Loughborough. And that's like my last chance to qualify for the, yeah, to qualify for the Olympic Games. And um, so what she had to do, she had to get someone to do like an emergency, like a stranded ticket, wow. where they faxed it through to King's Cross. And then wow. luckily I, I got up to Loughborough like half an hour before my race. So I had to quickly half warm up. Hour. Yeah, and like, it was just crazy. So I was surprised wow. that I qualified, but wow. because it's all over the place. Wow, wow, wow. But what, what position did you actually come in the, in the final? In the final yeah. of the Olympic Games? No, of, the, of, the, of this um, Loughborough. Loughborough? Yeah. Um, Loughborough was just like an open kind of meeting, oh, so I won that. Okay, and that was where you did the 12.81? Yes, that's where I qualified wow. for the Olympics, like, wow. once again in my teeth. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. I'm going to go to the um, the one you just had um, in Germany. Berlin, yeah. In, in Berlin, that's a World Champs. Yes. Just tell us about, like, you know, um, what, what happened leading to the event, yeah. and like, you know, how you did, you know. Yeah. We're, we're going to show the videos as well, but just okay. like... Well, your, um, in Berlin, like, the beginning of the year, I had hurt my hamstring, so I pulled my hamstring um, for in the indoors, so I had, had like in cortisone injections into my back, so I had like wow. five days off, um, no training, and then before I went warm over training, I pulled my hamstring again. Yeah. So while I was in America, I was just re doing rehab, I wasn't doing no speed work, um, I put my spikes on like the last couple of days I was out in America, wow. and then um, it was kind of just touch and go, so like my first races were like really slow, and then um, I was in Germany for like a um, Grand Prix there. And I hit the first hurdle, and I had an inflamed Achilles. Wow. So I was just running in pain, like for most of my races. So, like most of this year, I've just been injured. Wow. So I was just lucky that they took me to the um, to the world, and then um, I was happy that I ran another season's best, yeah. 1286, um, wow. in the semi in the heat. But then um, I kind of messed up in the semi final and hit a few hurdles, so I didn't get through to the final there. Yeah. But without pushing you, I don't know if you want to answer this question, but it's up to you. But do you know how far you can run? I mean, like, you hear, like, you know, all these 100 meters guys saying, now, oh, oh, I can do a 9.8, I could do a 9.7. Yeah. If I push, I can do a 9.6. Do you yeah. know? Um, um, I definitely know I can run quicker than 12.8. I definitely know it's in there, but it's just, like, for this year, I would have broken 12.8, but yeah. because of injury, it's kind of held me back, so I couldn't train properly. So yeah. from now until next year, I was going to train and just get my fitness up and get my technique down over the hurdles. And yeah. um, I'll, I guess I'll run quicker then. Yeah. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> it says here that um, your, your current training um, includes the sports vision assessments. It helps with your sporty awareness yeah. at high speed. Do you want to tell us about that? Yeah, so what it is, um, there's an optician in Braintree, and um, he noticed that every time I came into the hurdles, I was looking at the hurdle. So um, he was trying to figure out why I was doing that, and he was saying that it, it, um, it kind of it would slow me down, keep looking at the hurdles and looking back up again. It, not, it takes time. It adds time to my races, so what he did, he just gave me exercises to do. Okay. And then um, he also told me to get like sightseeing, that's on the DS as well, so to do sight training and stuff like that. And um, he seems to be helping, so now I don't really look at the hurdles as much. Lovely, lovely. And um, um, who's your coach, if you don't mind? Um, Lloyd Cowan. Um, is he, how do you, how do you do it? Is he, does he just come up with it, or you have to agree, or does he, uh -huh. how do you, how do, how do you um, know what best suits you? Is it, like, yeah. your... I've been with him since I was uh, 17, 18, so he's known me for a long time, so wow. he knows what works for me and what doesn't work. Yeah. So it's just now we're getting it right.